Nigga Skittles in the chain, bitch one in the brain, nigga click clack gang, okay? Nice shoes on the whip. Yo, yo, what's up, Bully World? How y'all doing out there? This Big Marv getting back to y'all uh, from FGK, you know what I mean? Um, we here with another, uh, well, not another, the last video was actually an introduction. This is the first webisode of uh, Bully Code, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm taking kind of slow in the beginning, man, because y'all gotta remember there's a couple people out there um, that are still new to the game and, and don't know anything. So we're gonna, we gonna go from the basics, you know, so we gotta crawl before we walk. So um, today, uh, right now, I'm gonna talk about uh, paperwork. You know, uh, when you first get your dog, uh, it's registered as a pit bull, and you're gonna either get a UKC or ADBA paperwork. And uh, me, personally, I don't run with those because I don't feel like I have a pit bull terrier. I feel like I got American bully. So, um, I, uh, you know, switch all my dogs over to ABKC. And it's real easy to do. And I'm going to tell y'all how to do it. You know, you get your, uh, you send in your original, your original pedigree, whether it's UKC or ADBA. You get that back, you make a copy, you take a, uh, a front and a side shot picture of your dog, um, package all that up, send it off to the ABKC, it's only like 20 bucks, and um, you get all your paperwork back, and then your dog is ABKC registered. Um, a lot of people still use the UKC and all of that, well, I'm, I'm just using all ABKC. You know what I mean? Cause I got a bully. This is the American bully, and I'm with the movement. So that's how I do. American bully, yeah, that. American pit bull. I'm not hating on, on the dog. You know, I used to own pit bulls. I did the pit bull thing, but this is American bully. You know what I mean? Um, I want to I want to take some time out right now, and I want to thank everybody for uh, showing me so much love on the um, on the little intro video I put out yesterday. You know what I mean, letting y'all know about Bully Code and what, what it was gonna be and all of that. You know, I got a lot of good feedback, so I just want to thank everybody out there in the Bully World. You know what I mean, all my fan band out there, y'all know who you are. Much love. You know what I mean. We gonna keep on grinding and doing this shit. You know what I mean, and we gonna um, separate ourselves from the uh, from the fake because it's a lot of fake. You know. What I mean, but it's not a lot of real ones out there, so uh, you know, it's Big Marv, uh, Bully Cole, you know, episode one, you know, got all y'all paperwork right. Hope y'all got you got any more questions about paperwork, uh, email me, Fearless Guideline at Yahoo, and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you out and uh, get you get you all squared away because uh, you guys start hitting these shows, you don't want to spend that 10 extra dollars for that temporary ID or that temporary uh, number they give you. You know what I mean? So just go ahead and get your dog squared away from the jump and uh, it'll save you money in the long run and, and, and plus it'll help support the, the American Bully Movement. You know what I mean? Um, another registry out there is the ABBA, the American Bully Breeders Association. Um, they're also for the bullies, you know. Um, my dog's a dual register with both of them. Um, you know, I, I ain't into the politics. I don't get into all of that. Uh, this registry over that registry, it's, it's all about the dog, and that's how I'm going to keep it. So, on that note, uh, I, I think I covered everything. Um, episode 2, you know, that'll be coming out in a couple days. Um, I'll be talking about uh, cleanliness. You know what I mean? You guys keeping your yards clean and keeping your dogs clean and, and taking them baths and, and, and all that old good stuff. But you know, we gotta, gotta stay on top of these dogs, man. Everybody's looking at us and uh, everybody's a critic. So, you guys remember that. You gotta be good ambassadors to this breed, y'all. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a contest coming up. I'm gonna start doing a little contest, make this thing fun for everybody. You know what I mean? And, um, that's about it, man. I don't want to take too much more of y'all's time. I want to keep these videos kind of short, keep the information in there, and, and that's about it. So this Big Marv, episode one, it's a wrap. Episode two, 
two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, two, I know, I know it's going a little slow, but we gotta crawl before we walk, y'all. So uh, eventually we'll get to the stuff you guys is looking for and the questions y'all got. So big Marvin, I'm out. Only get noticed by their homies when it's roll blunt time. This wrong kind, see the chrome sign swinging from my neck. See it at the wrong time, you going blind. Humongous niggas with reps worth American gangster. The Mitchy Slick one will be bout nothing but bangers. And having D on the block and two two threes that done drop major factors and make gang fuse pop and still ain't stop. And getting trailed by the gang details is like the East Coast rap cops is too hot. They follow ghosts cause they know it came for crack rock. Why else would one of the locks be down on the Logan block? Where the trip is thick, thick, and the cigs are spit. Soon as the doughs kick for the rolling.